All right. Howdy, fellas. This is Bibbs Master Deluxe, back for another episode of Chameleon Twist. And as you saw from the last episode, we'll be taking down the desert castle. Let's see what the bunny has to say. Set in the middle of the desert, full of spikes and high walls. Watch out for quicksand and falling rocks. Well, I'll be sure to. All right, so this is actually one of like the hardest levels in the game, besides the last level, obviously. Because they have so many ways to get hurt. But these spikes, if you go up on your tongue... If you go up on your tongue, you don't get hurt. <laughs> yeah. I swear you don't get hurt. <laughs> yeah, as you can see there. Alright. There's not really a gimmick in this world at all, except for just being, like, really difficult. I guess, like, platforming, just making it challenging, but... It's not really, like, a certain, like, thing you need to, like, worry about. Just be on your A-game and know when to jump and where to go and other sort of things. So, yeah. Watch out for the vultures. Grab these crowns. Alright, now these spikes, as you saw in the cutscene, opening cutscene of the last video, go down when you hit them with your tongue. Alright, well, I guess. All right, now this always made me angry because these arrows shoot so fast and you're so close to them. Just have to kind of guess when they're coming out, which is kind of hard, but luckily I uh, went through that unscathed. All right, now we got giant chain swings. I don't even know how they're still going. It's like the most random thing, like just giant chain swings on a castle floating in the middle of like the sky. As you can see by the purple like sky on the top right of the screen there. It's kind of really weird. Like, where are we? <laughs> How do we even get here? But, you know. Jack just goes where Jack wants, I guess. Alright. Oops. We're just going to want to go straight up here. This takes us up to a crown, if I remember correctly. Yep. And then, there's another crown straight above us, but we're going to have to get on this platform to get it. Alright. I always thought this was really funny, how Jack can do like backflips with his tongue. Alright, I want to go get those crowns, but I don't want to die, so I'm just going to keep going. Alright, now up here we have quicksand, and the boulders are going to start falling out behind us. And we can't jump, or we can't really move at all, so... The only way we can move is grabbing onto, like, those wooden, uh, poles. But I think we'll be fine. Not, maybe not. <laughs> we're close. Alright. Now, there is a crown right here, which I always fail to get, so we're going to try and get it. Get it! Yes! And we got health too sweet. There's a crown up here. Eh. Whoa, I didn't even see that vulture there. Okay. I don't need the health. I'll save it for later. Oh, come my Oh my gosh. Yeah, as you can see, it's not really that hard. You just need to know where to jump and how to do it without very much space, I guess. Alright, now this quicksand tries to shove you off the level, so what you're going to want to do is grab onto these. 
um, wooden poles to spin around. It's a little bit challenging, a little bit here. I think right here, it goes from side to side. Eh, it's not really that much more challenging, but, you know, whatever. Alright. Oh, come on. Get it, get it, no! Well, I'll just go over here and jump then. Okay. I'll oh, grab. Oh, these spikes. I swear. I don't even care. No! Alright, let's see, as you can see we got all these hearts up here, so not too big of a deal if you get hurt on those. Even though it's pretty easy to navigate it as long as you don't want to get the crowns. Good thing they give you all those hearts though, because I want to get crowns. Alright, now we just got some magic carpets flying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's with like just like in the sky? I don't even understand it. <laughs> But, you know, it's a chameleon twist. Alright. And we continue our journey. Go down. Oh no. Alright. <laughs> Alrighty. Now this part was always really scary because it looks like, like normal quicksand, but as you can see... Uh, yeah, that. <laughs> Whatever those are. I always thought those were like chain chomps from Mario. They sort of look like it. They're just orange, but... Yeah. You just gotta watch out for those. Gotta get the crown. Come on. Alright. Nice. Alright, there should be a couple more up here. We really got 18 of... Alright. We are at the boss, fellas. Yeah. Alright, so this boss is, I don't really even know what to call it, but basically what he does is jump around like that, and whenever he lands, he drops these enemies out of the ground. And when he lands on the ground again, like that, you want to shoot him. So he's a pretty easy boss, but later, when, once he gets hurt, he doesn't stay like in, in that state of just sitting there for very long, so you have to be really ready to shoot whenever he lands. Like that. You gotta be close to him. Be monitoring where he's gonna be landing via his shadow. And yeah. He's gotta be quick on the draw, I guess. But he's pretty easy to avoid. You just gotta keep running around. As long as you keep moving, it's not too hard. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. Maybe a thumbs up for that Wario reference, I don't know. <laughs> I always love that. Alright. Oh, he's gonna be landing right now. He's gotta be quick on the draw. I only really like to pick up one one little guy, because if you pick up more than one, uh, it really slows you down, so... And you only need one to hurt him. Wow, and we're already done. <laughs> Yeah, so that was the uh, Desert Castle, and we'll have silence for the epic cutscene. Alright, 
All right, nine minutes, 43 seconds, 18 out of 24 crowns. All right, so as you can see, we finally have the last level open to us, the Ghost Castle, but we're not going there quite yet. We're going to be going to Kids Land next. So in next time in Chameleon Twist, we'll be in Kids Land. See you guys next time.